Welcome everybody to my new studio. Man, I am so excited about this. Uh, I have been wanting a place to set up a little studio and I finally found one in my house. The office that I was using before, I liked that setup, but uh, I share it with my wife and she's in school right now. So she obviously gets priority uh, since that's far more important than me just making fun little videos that I wanna make. But uh, I found a space in our basement in the laundry room and um, I think it's really cool how judging by the frame and what you see, you would never guess that I was in a laundry room. Another reason I'm really excited for it is uh, I'm trying to get, well, just a better look in general. And now uh, with this setup, I have a lot more control of the lights, the sound, and uh, those are some things that I, I want to help get my uh, videos to look better. Uh, so far, I'm really happy with how this is looking. I think I'm gonna put some signs or something up there. Maybe I'll get some neon. I don't know. We'll see, but I'm really happy with how this looks. I'm really happy I have this place. In the office that I was sharing with my wife, I just, I had to, set up and tear down pretty much everything every time I wanted to film and it just made it not fun for me to film and it made me work too hard to do it and uh, it, the easier you can make it for yourself to do something the more you're gonna do it and I want to do this more so there's there was so many times I was like oh I should film a video I want to film a video and I'm like oh, so much set up and I'm done I have to take it all down and, Blah, blah, blah. Now I have a space where I can leave most things up and um, it's gonna be a lot easier to pump out videos, which I'm very excited about. The other thing I'm excited about with this space is being able to just control everything a lot better. I got some moving pads that I have hanging to the left, right of me. I have one hanging above me and I have a carpet underneath me. I'm really hoping that helps contain the sound, makes the sound a little bit better. I really want to work on my sound because I don't think in the last videos that I've been doing, the sound is as good as it could be. So I'm really hoping to get that better. But I think the main problem is my mic. I have a pretty cheap microphone. So I'm really hoping to get a new microphone at some point. We'll see, they are a lot of money. This is just a random video I'm doing quick to show my new setup. I kind of want to practice editing this and um, I, I'm just kind of dialing in some stuff that I want to do, figuring out some things that I want to do here. So that's mainly what this is about. But I also wanted to talk about kind of just what I've learned so far in the few videos that I've done. First thing is talking to a camera is really weird. The first time I set up and started doing a video, I'm not kidding, it took me probably 10 minutes to say more than a sentence or two and to actually get into it. I'm sure you could tell if you go back and look at my first video, it's very uncomfortable. It's weird. And I'm a fairly charismatic person and I kind of enjoy that kind of thing. So I thought it was going to be easy. I was like, oh, this is going to be fun. I hit record and all of a sudden I'm like, uh, uh, uh. It's very weird. Once you know that it's recording and you're gonna put it out on the web, on YouTube or wherever it's going, it's a very different thing. It's a very different thing when you know that this is going somewhere where anybody could see it. So it was very interesting. I'm still getting comfortable. I think I'm getting better. And uh, I think this video specifically is much better than the last few that I've done. So. That's a really weird thing. The other thing that I've learned is while photography and videography are very similar, use very similar things, there's a lot more to learn about videography than there is about pho photography. Uh, I, I'm learning that it, it takes a lot more of finessing, a lot more understanding of the settings and your camera and, and what they're doing and, and things like that.
that or to get that cinematic look that everyone's always talking about. Um, so there's a lot more to it. It's a little more difficult. You have to worry about sound and uh, just a few more things you have to worry about. So it's much more of a challenge than your photography. There's also a lot more of a process to it because you have to... Oiny banani! Hi! Oh, there comes Gizmo! Oh, there's the Annie Banani! This is Annie. She is a half black lab and a half pit bull, as far as we know. And she is such a good girl. And this is Gizmo! Oh, yes, are you grumpy? Oh, you a grumpy boy. And this is my Gizmo Butt Butt. His nickname is Butt Butt. Don't know why. Just started calling him Butt Butt. Anywho. Yeah, okay. That's got to get fixed. See? Wouldn't have to worry about this if you were doing photography. Squeaky chair. Just one more thing. There's a lot more of a process after you are done filming. You need to put it into some sort of program and edit it, get the sound right, add other sound effects, music, whatever. Just different uh, things to it. It's a lot more of a process behind it. This is another thing I've learned. But it's a lot of fun too, so. Anyway, this is my new setup. I hope you enjoy it. I'm enjoying it. I'm really glad. I hope the sound is better. Uh, I really hope the sound is better. I'm gonna really work on that because I don't like the sound coming out of here. I hope to put out more videos more frequently. It's gonna be much easier for me to film them. That was a lot of my problem before. I haven't filmed a video in a while. So I'm glad I have this space. I'm very happy with it. I'll see you in the next video. Later. I never know how to do the outro. Everyone's got their kind of things that they do, you know. Peace. I, I'm, I'm not that kind of guy. I'm not a peace kind of person. I never have to do that. Just wait. Bye. Should I say it like my son? My son is so cute. Oh, man. I'm going to do that. This is how my son would do it. Bye. It's a lot cuter when it's coming from a two-year-old.